All right, guys, I told you I'd try to get you some updated stuff. I'm going to do a quick recap here. I'm going to read, you know, what it says. A quick recap. O'Brien was arrested on Monday night after allegedly breaking into a neighbor's house and shoving a female occupant to the floor, all while being Northdale, Florida, all while his own Northdale, Florida home caught on fire. With explosive ammunition inside, deputies found him behind a fence where he reportedly charged at the officers with a knife only to be subdued by a taser. He appeared in court yesterday wearing an anti-suicide vest and shackles and was ordered already held on a 50 grand bond pending drug test. Now, we know that. Okay, we know that. But here's some new interesting stuff on Mr. O'Brien here. It says that more extraordinary details continue to pour in regarding to the arrest of Cannibal Corpse guitarist Pat O'Brien on assault and burglary charges. Latest report indicate that the death metal musician had military style flamethrowers inside his home and was rambling about the rapture on the night of his alleged crime. So see, I don't know what happened, okay, but he was definitely having a mental breakdown or something, you know what I mean? And if, as if that wasn't strange enough, the news report from ABC affiliate WFTS in Tampa Bay reveals that the military style flamethrowers were, oh wait, Okay, military style claim throwers were found inside O'Brien's home. Moreover, it was reported that surrounding houses were evacuated Tuesday as a precaution when deputies found an un unspecified item of concern in Brian's, O'Brien's house. Dudes, like I said, he's not a pop star. You know, he's he's not a pop star. He's, he's, he's prepping, it sounds like, you know. WFTS also spoke to the homeowner of the house that O'Brien allegedly broke into. And while he wouldn't speak on camera, he did tell the TV station that he figured O'Brien was hallucinating. Since the guitarist was speaking about the rapture and claiming that someone was after him even after hiding in the closet at one point, the report can be seen below. But I can't play the report because I can't even get the link to work myself. But if I can make it work, you know me, I'll hook it up. But yeah, that's that's some more stuff on uh, Pat O'Brien. I, uh, I don't really know what to say. Besides the fact that I hope he gets some help, and um, I told y'all that, uh, he, like I said, you can't say he's on drugs because he—I I just don't think he is. I just think he, he mentally something inside his mind broke, and now he has to put it back together. You know, so everybody send as much love and prayers. If you pray, pray. If you send energy, send energy. Send it to that man tonight or today. He's gonna need it. You know, because he's going through a lot of stuff, you know, and the best thing we can all do as a community is support him. And no matter what happens, you know, we all going to pat him on the back when all this is over and we all going to enjoy that music. And uh, Chris Jackson, thank you for liking my post. <laughs> but for real, y'all, thank y'all for stopping in. I, he might be preparing for something. You never know. But all I know is, is that something in him, inside of him fucking snap. This is where he's at now. So, like I said in my previous video, hashtag free Pat O'Brien. Thank y'all for stopping in. I'll update you more as it comes in. Y'all stay brutal.